Hey everyone, Charles Demiano here again from the Bruce Lee Collection. Thank you for joining me. This is my second episode of my channel. Today I'd like to introduce to you one other magazine which has special meaning to me and I'm sure it has a lot of special meaning to you. So I just dug through my collection, went deep within my trunks and I found this gem. Take a look at this. This came out in October of 1967. And it has a lot of significance because it was the first time Bruce Lee appeared on Black Belt. And also he wrote some great articles in here. So let me just flip through this with you and you can see the beauty of this magazine. I don't even remember how many I have of this. Let's see how many are in this one. Oh, I was able to pick up uh, two of them. Again, the goal here is to find magazines that are in mint or near mint condition. And obviously, uh, this one is in a little better shape than this one is. But again, beautiful magazine. Let's just flip through this. I'll kind of open this for you and show you what the inside of this magazine looks like. This is the first time I'm opening this magazine in probably over 20 years. I don't know the last time I actually took this magazine out and actually went through it. So the goal here is that you don't want it to get caught on this tape. So I'm actually going to take this tape off because I ripped many magazine covers that got caught on the tape. As you slide it out of the bag, I'm sure you guys had some problems with this as well. But look at that. There's Bruce Lee from Cato in the Green Hornet coming out in 1967. And I'll just flip through this with you guys so you get a little glimpse of what this magazine looks like. Here's some of the articles. Is the Green Hornet version of Kung Fu genuine? Actor Bruce Lee, who plays Cato, admits it's slightly hoaxed up for dramatic effect but he's a real practitioner of the art. Again, another great, great magazine. Very rare. Talk about like this, that page. Yeah. It's like a, looks like a newspaper. Almost. As you can see the wear on the magazine, the page is a little off-white color, slightly yellowing. That just shows you the age of the magazine since 1967. It's over 40 years old at this point, but still in great condition. Very readable, and there's the article that he wrote, is Green Hornet's version of Kung Fu Genuine. One of the first articles that ever came out on Bruce Lee. Showing his workout routines, his dog Bobo at the time, his wife Linda Lee, his son Brandon, who unfortunately is not with us at this time, him practicing, his Kung Fu. Again, another beautiful article on Bruce Lee, one of the most sought after collectibles by Bruce Lee collectors in the world go after this. It's a must have in anyone's collection. So I recommend you try to find this, pick it up. And as, as we all know, collecting is, find, is like finding hidden treasure. When I found this, it was like I found a hidden treasure. And I hope you enjoyed this today. I hope you liked seeing this magazine for the first time. And until then, and we share our next collectible, you have a great time. Peace once again from Charles Damiano at the Bruce Lee Collection. Remember, Subscribe to my channel. We're going to be doing lots of fun things. I'm going to be giving away giveaways on different items based on the subscribers coming in, the subscribers who comment the most, the subscribers who write in and tell me about their experience. What was your first item? Tell me about it. I love to see it. Share it with the group. Until next time, see you guys later.